Hi everyone, my name is Kara Hill and today I will be presenting to you guys my topic one speech on gymnastics. Have you ever flipped through the channels to see what's on TV and gymnastics pops up on your screen? You think to yourself, wow, that's pretty cool, or hey, I wish I could do that, and then continue to change channels to something you might enjoy a little bit better. Maybe it's because you don't know much about gymna the sport and it's confusing and hard to watch. Well, today I'm here to explain why gymnastics is one of the greatest sports of all times. Gymnastics is more than just flipping and spinning your bodies around in the air. It's a sport of concentration, strength, and grace. Gymnastics was introduced in the early Greek civilization to put your bodies through a series of exercises, including running, jumping, swimming, throwing, wrestling, and weightlifting. A German named Frederick Ludwig John started a men's gymnastic movement in 1811. It became so popular that it was added to the Olympic Games lineup in 1896. Now the women's gymnastic movement was not as fast and as popular as the men's. It did not get established until 1920 and then was added in the 1954 Olympic Games. Men and women might compete in the same sport of gymnastics, but it's completely different. Men oftentimes showcase their strength more than their grace, and they have six different events that they compete. They compete parallel bars, horizontal rings, horizontal bars, vault, floor, and pommel horse. Women only do four events, which showcase their grace and their strength, which they do uneven bars, balance beam, vault, and floor. This sport is considered one of the hardest in the world. It's not just a seasonal sport where you play and then get six months break. No, it's a year-round sport where you're practicing day in and day out for about 30 to 40 hours a week. You must be in absolute shape and go through intense training to maintain your skills for each event where you can compete them and then move up in levels. It is a sport where your both your body and your mind have to be strong or you're not going to make it far in the world of gymnastics. Hard work and dedication is key to this sport. And if you don't love every second of it, you're not going to make it. Gymnastics is very, very draining on both the, the body and the mind. Gymnastics is my favorite sport in the world. I started when I was just two years old, going one hour a week. I continued to progress and started moving up. And before that, I realized I was in the highest level possible, practicing six days a week five hours a day. I love the thrill I would get when I stepped onto that floor and perfected my routine or stood up on that first place podium and got to show off the hard work that I worked on for that whole season. This sport takes a major toll on your body and your mind and I knew that every day after practice ice bath and Advil would be my best friend. You have to learn how to push through the pain and if you want to be a top athlete. But there was a pain I couldn't push through anymore. My senior year of high school, I got the news that I needed to end my career as a gymnast because I'd broken my back. All my blood, sweat, and tears I put into the sport were nothing. So I finally hang up, hanged up my leotards and my hairbands and decided to move on. At this point, I hated the sport. I hated everything about it. It left me broken and destroyed my confidence. I never got to reach my goal as a collegiate gymnast because of this sport. After about a year, I came around to the conclusion how much I loved and missed the sport and decided to go into coaching. To this day, I now have over seven groups that I'm in charge of coaching. I finally have the thrill back to when I was a young gymnast and got to love every second of what I was doing. This sport creates such unique athletes and I'm glad I've been involved with it over 17 years. So today I've covered a lot of ground on the sport of gymnastics. So I'm going to leave you with this. First, gymnastics is such a tough sport, but it's worth the feeling it gives you. Second, gymnastics is not being able to maintain a fit body. It's about showcasing your skills to the best of your ability. And the last, this sport provides so many opportunities both during your career and after. So next time you're changing channels and see gymnastics on, 
You know these crazy pe you know why these crazy people are throwing their bodies through the air on a four inch piece of wood. Thank you for watching my speech.